Okay, hello, hello, Tyler Bryden here. Hope everything's going well. I was working today, I had my head down, and uh, I had seen some rumors. This uh, chat GPT uh, coming out a little bit last night, a little bit uh, today. I had put my head down, and uh, by the time I raised my head up, the internet was ablaze with conversations about chat GPT. Uh, what I wanted to do was take a look at this. We can see sort of the blog post just came out November 30th, 13 minute read. Uh, and you know, basically allows you to have sort of this dialogue format uh, with uh, the large language models that OpenAI has been producing, uh, and this has, you know, this has uh, set the sort of uh, world on fire with examples of Seinfeld and uh, all these different sort of memes and interesting ways that then people are interacting with the system. People finding amazing uh, advancements and incredible things, and then also finding. Um, no gaps and holes uh, in the technology. The other thing that I will say is, uh, while this is uh, very exciting, uh, and I was hoping to show a little demo in this video, uh, they've had a lot of people come by. And so uh, it's at capacity. I think Sam uh, here uh, said there's a lot more demand for ChatGPT than we expected, so we're working to add more capacity. Generally, I think this is a good problem to have. Uh, creates even more excitement, uh, makes people more, uh, even motivated to uh, test out uh, this system. And, you know, Sam has a lot of clout uh, sort of in this space. Uh, and when he says something, he says it uh, sometimes quite uh, simply uh, and uh, sort of says, this is a prototype. This is an early um, version. And obviously with that, there are uh, lots of challenges and people talking about uh, many sort of incorrect results. But overall, uh, this seems like a huge advancement in sort of the interaction layer um, that is happening in sort of conversational AI and natural language processing. And there's a lot of people working uh in this space who are probably both excited and then probably a bunch of people uh, who are probably a bit scared uh, seeing the advancements that OpenAI is making and just the, the speed that they can deploy something like this and then the uh, traction uh, that can be gathered so quickly for you know, a company with huge computing uh, still struggling to then handle uh, the load um, that is uh, coming with that. So. As always, uh, I'm taking a look, uh, seeing what's going on. Uh, you can see uh, sort of a couple uh, opportunities where you're uh, sort of interacting. Uh, and then, uh, you know, apparently there is some sort of connection to instruct GPT um, text of NGO2. Uh, this is an iterative version of that with improvements. And uh, again, lots of sort of uh, links, announcements, um, some. Uh, 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 some examples here. So the best examples of ChatGTP from OpenAI, a nice little tweet thread here. Uh, it could be not just a good debugging camp, uh, companion, it, it not only explains the bug, but fixes it and then explains the fix. So one uh, version uh, of that that's pretty incredible. Another that um, Google talks about, uh, I guess sort of a, a little bit of a comparison between that uh, uh, sort of response um, in uh, in ChatGPT three versus the result from Google, um, so uh, you know there is uh, you know basically saying Google is in trouble with this. Now Google is working on these large language models, and I'm sure uh, with everyone just barreling in this space towards uh, you know wanting to be a leader in it, um, their iterations is going to come quickly and fast, and uh, people learn. Um, a lot from it. Now, another super interesting example was sort of this, uh, can, uh, basically this question that Guy Parsons had with um, with uh, ChatGPT, and uh, and uh, asked how it could about go about decorating a living room, which then gave it gave back basically prompts that then he could use in Mid Journey, and then show some uh, examples of the output that actually came and. Uh, I want my room uh, to look like this. So super fascinating, like beautiful, beautiful um, outputs, uh, uh, creative writing. Uh, I should have gone back. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, how to make how to make money and write code. So ton of great examples. This is obviously uh, in the links as always, so you can uh, check that out. And then you know when people are when OpenAI does something, people are uh, following it. So lots of articles, um, sort of uh, documenting the first interaction layer uh, with this. After say 24 hours, we're coming up not even 24 hours uh, and uh, lots of, again, exciting things, but then uh, lots of uh, sort of um, challenges. So people writing friends, rom-coms, all these different uh, things. And, um, you know, overall, uh, I mean, 
just the volume of interaction or I guess reactions to this is pretty wild and the reason why even in a short little timeline uh even being able to dive you know too deep into this I was like I gotta I gotta talk about this I gotta uh put a video up with this would love to hear you know what you're thinking what you're seeing what's what's your thoughts on this um and uh you know are you excited are you worried are you uh attesting this are you able to get access before this all shut down um and uh you know overall just the uh, we're going to continue to see examples elon tweeting about it i think i have a list of uh uh top sort of um versions of it uh sort of tweets around it um and you know all over the place with yeah big leaders in tech doing it and just another sort of driver and momentum booster for um generative ai how people are interacting with it the exponential leaps that can be made very quickly and then the ability for a company like uh open ai um, to be able to uh, deploy this technology and see it be taken over uh you know it's just taken by storm so uh, i'm tyler bright this is the end of the video hope you enjoyed like it comment let me know what you're thinking about this would love to see more excited to see some demos all that good stuff super interested following as always and uh, i appreciate you checking this out have a wonderful rest of your day Bye bye